so as you can see I've not got any makeup at all on my face that is because I fancy doing a little makeup video today I'm not actually going anywhere but I just really fancy doing my makeup so I thought I'd do it on camera obviously I'm no expert when it comes to makeup so I'm not really going to call this a tutorial this is just me having a chat and doing my makeup I'm going to do pink eye makeup, I do that quite often and I always get compliments on it and I didn't see many other people do it actually so I thought that's what I do today so yeah that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch lenses so you can see my face a bit closer up so let's get on to the makeup okay we're a bit closer to my face now I'm going to whip my hair back because I was out my way and I am going to, oh gosh I look really hot right now I am just going to prime my face using the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm and I'm going to try something a little different. I've done this before but I'm just going to give it a go. This is the Tanya Bro Cosmetics, I think it's just the liquid highlighter and beaming. I'm going to mix that in with the primer I'm using. Um, this primer, obviously it's not primer, it's post shave balm. I usually use this for nights out because it's very sticky so your makeup actually stays on your face which is a problem I get a lot. But I'm running low on all of my primers, so this was the only one I had and I wanted to prime my face. So that's what I'm going with, so I'm just going to put a bit on my hand and mix in a dab of the highlighter. You got four more of that. Oh, that looks, looks a, bit, a bit rude. And I just got a bit of that as well. I'm going to just shove this all over my face. I got a little mirror in my hand so that I can see what I'm doing. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking into that because I didn't want to look into the viewfinder because it's quite far away and I'm pretty blind. This does smell like madness. Oh yeah, that, that's alright, it's given a bit of sheen to my primer. Oh, lovely. Right. Quite refreshing, that. For foundation, I'm going to use my favourite at the moment. It is It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. And I think I've got light. I need fair. I've got light. This guy. I've got a damp, quite dirty, <laughs> um, Real Technique sponge to buff that in so I'm just gonna stick some of that on my skin and I'm just gonna dot that all over my face I think I'm actually gonna grab a brush to blend the remainder because it was not blending that nicely with this one at the moment it's Mike Jacobs face food brush just to make sure we're all blended in <laughs> oh damn the nip dun, dun, dun. And I think I've got my foundation on one side of my face and on the other. Oh wow. And for concealer, I am going to use Sky Bottle Healthy Mix in light. And under the eyes. I just felt like filming a makeup video. I never normally do them because I feel like to do makeup videos, a lot of people assume you are really good at makeup and I'm not <laughs> so I don't want people to like take what I say as kind of rules or think of it as a tutorial um but I sometimes I just really enjoy playing with my makeup and I felt like that today and I felt like filming so I thought I'm gonna do the both and it means I get to have a chat with the camera which um is quite nice there we go so yeah, sorry, um, the light went a bit crap then. I need to get some lights and I desperately need a microphone because I always notice in the quality of my videos that I like, they would be so much better with a microphone, but I just don't, don't have the money to get one. Plus, I don't have very many subscribers, so do people care if my sound quality is crap? I feel like I care that my sound quality is crap, but I don't know whether anybody else cares or even watches. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to have a microphone and some lights so that I wouldn't have to worry, like, Sun so going in and out, they're just that, and it's a bit like you lose your light. Annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna use this guy. I haven't used this in ages, and then I used it. I went on a night out the weekend and I used this, and I was like, oh, for God, I like this. This is an uh, Anastasia contour kit in light. I'm gonna use this one, which I think is the lightest, I'd say the lightest of the three. Um, it's the shade Havana. Oh no, it's not the shade Havana. It's the shade Java, according to the back. And I'm going to again use my beauty sponge, but I'm going to use a pointy end and just dip it in. Have you guys tried any new makeup recently? Because I really can't see some new makeup. So if anyone's got any recommendations, I'd like to hear. I really want to try some of 
the new Tanya Bo cosmetic stuff because I always love her stuff. It's I think it's so underrated. So I really want to try some of her new stuff. Her contour kits look good and her illuminators, highlighters, whatever they are, they look amazing. So yeah, I want to try that. So if anyone's tried any of it, let me know. Right, now I'm going to blend this guy in. Um, I'm going to go back in with the, first br the face brush I used to help blend my foundation. The Marc Jacobs Face Free Brush and I'm just going to blend it upwards. Maybe I'll start doing more beauty stuff on this channel. I don't know, I've moved my blog kind of away from beauty quite a bit recently because I go through phases with beauty. I'm either really into it or I'm really not. But at the moment I feel like I'm either not into it at all, like I either wear no makeup and I really don't care, or I wear loads. I'm not... I don't know, some days I love it, some days I just don't give a shit. I've, I guess that's the same for anyone, though. some days you want to make an effort, some days you don't. But I don't know, I just... It's just strange, isn't it? Like, But it's quite nice to film in a makeup video. I've already filmed, I, I guess I filmed a bit of makeup videos, but I don't feel like I've done a chatty one like this before. Maybe I have. I don't know. <laughs> this video is going to be me just talking crap. But I'm going to put on some powder now because that's all my creamy products done. Um, I got this guy. Love this guy. This is the Hourglass. What's this called? Um, you know what this is, don't you? Um, I cannot think of the name. My mind is all blank. Oh my god, it's like the most known hourglass one. It's an hourglass powder. I'm going to write the name on the screen because I don't actually remember what the name is right now. And I'm just going to go in with a Zoeva 106 powder brush and blend it all over my face. I'm going for quite a dewy look. This is nice and glowy this, but it doesn't look like too much. And now I'm going to add a bit of bronze. This palette, I've spoken about this in favourites videos before, I bloody love this palette. I think it's a Christmas one, so I'm not sure if you could still get it, but it's a Tanya Bro one. It's a beautifully defined palette. She's got one of her bronzes in there. She does sell other stuff with her bronzes in, so maybe um, it's the same bronzes in those. Should it, does it say what bronzer it is? No, it just says bronzer. But I like the bronzer, so that's the bronzer I'm going to use. And I'm going to use it with this Marc Jacobs, the bronze brush, and I'm just wiggling my brush all in it. Kind of sweep it all across my forehead and my cheeks and just wherever I want a bit of bronze. Oh, random bit of hair coming down. I don't know what I'm going to do after this. Maybe as my makeup will be done and I'm going nowhere, I might film another video. That might be quite nice. I've got this palette. I think this has been discontinued, so sorry that like you can't get it, but I'm sure they probably do similar ones. It's so either is the Sun Power Sun Power? Yep, yeah, Sun Power palette. And it's full of like blushes and highlights and stuff. And I'm just gonna use this one here, I think. And I'm just going in with a Zoeva 127 Lux Cheap brush. I'm not gonna put on too much blush because I'm going for quite a heavy eye look and I'm already Got quite a bit of bronze on. Just a little bit, just on the apples on my cheeks. And I'm going back to that Tanya Burr palette and going for the. Oh, I said the bronze didn't have a name, it does. It's called Caramel Kiss. So if any of her other palettes do the Caramel Kiss bronze, I'd recommend that. I'm going to go for the Highlight Now Champagne Shimmer and a Real Techniques brush, the 300 brush. And I'm just going to put that just along the top of my cheekbones and down the centre of my nose. Ooh! I have a very shiny nose, want a bit OTT, but you know, that's life. I feel like this is just me having like a therapy session to myself. <laughs> I'm literally just chatting. Right, eyebrows. I am going to use... I need a new eyebrow product. If you've got any recommendations, just let me know. But I've been using this for ages just because I haven't brought anything out basically. Um, this is the Maybelline Master Brow Prairie Palette. I have the shade Soft Brown and I'm just drawing these guys on. This hair is driving me insane. I might get another hair clip. I'm using the wax. It's definitely giving us fancy stuff. Oh man, I hate when people come home and I'm filming because they're like, why are you talking to yourself and actually talking to a camera? 
I'm not too neat with this because uh, I don't have the patience for that. Kind of fancy doing blue under my eyes, but I want to do pink on top, and I feel like that will be much. Been rewatching One Tree Hill. Who's your favourite character if you watch it? I I really like Skills, and I never really even thought of him before, but I think Skills is really fucking cool. I really like Skills. I also really like Peyton, but I've always liked Peyton. And Mia is one of my favourites. I like Mia. If you haven't watched One Tree Hill, watch it. I'm on season six, seven. I've just finished um, the last season with Lucas and Peyton in. It definitely goes down here or hill after they leave, let's be honest, but still good. Um, and I'm going in with the powder of that brow palette now and tapped it off so there's not too much on my brush and just going over my brows. When I get to my eyes, I will come a bit closer to you. There we go, lovely. And I'm going to go in with that um, nudie shade on the end and just to highlight my brow bone. And I'm just using my finger for that. I'm going to give my eyebrows a little brush with the Marc Jacobs. Um, I can't remember what it's called, their brow gel. It's on like a weird little caterpillar brush, but I love it. it your brows don't feel like they've got anything on them. And the brush makes the product spread really nicely. They are discontinuing this there. I don't think for a while. It just gives your brows a bit of summer. Do you know whose eyebrows I really like recently? If you watch Pretty Little Liars, Hannah's eyebrows recently. Aria's obviously got the best eyebrows in Pretty Little Liars. But Hannah's recently are looking really great as well. She kind of brushes them up a bit, I think. So, I'm just doing that. So I've got me some brows. I'm going to put a bit of primer on my eyelids and then I will get a bit closer to the camera. The primer I'm using is the NARS Prime Proof Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer, whatever it's called. <laughs> I really like this. Put the package in, it gets so dirty. And I'm just going to whack that all over my eyelids. Go. And just use my finger to blend that out. Oh, perfect. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna get my eyeshadow palette I am using and come a bit closer. So on my eyes I am using my much loved Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and I'm going in with the pink shades because my favourite eye makeup is pink at the moment. My favourite shade is Gossip so I'll be using that one. I will also be using Pandora and Alchemy. Alchemy? How do you, I don't know how you say that but yeah that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna use this brush because <laughs> why not? <laughs> No, no reason, no other reason for it than that. It's just a brush which came up with an Urban Decay palette. Um, it's quite flat, so I quite like it to pop it on. And I'm going to start with the middle shade, which is that uh, after me. I don't know how to say it. And I'm just going to whip it all over my eyelids. I know, looks much. It won't be. Well, it probably will be, but that's what I like about it. Mm. I wish I didn't start with this shade. I don't think I normally start with this shade. I think I normally start with the other one. You know, we'll, we'll make it work. It can work. So, um, what did everyone think of the Pretty Little Liars final? If you watched it, if you did, I'm gonna talk about it now. So, if you didn't, skip over. I'm actually gonna use a brush which is on the other end of that, and I'm gonna go in with the colour Gossip, which is a really bright pink, and I'm just gonna put that kind of in the crease. And on the outside. And I'm doing this quite messy. I don't want this to be particularly neat, to be honest. So I'm just doing it quite messy. I'm going quite high with it as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My eye makeup always looks like this until I blend it. I'm such a messy worker. Worker? Is that what I've got? No, I can say really messy when I do the bar. Could not be like a professional beauty YouTuber because they make it look like good for every step of look at mine right now. And I'm going in with another brush and I'm going in with the lightest pink shade which is Pandora and I'm going to it in the corner and bring it to the centre. <laughs> and this is a finish look. <laughs> I'm really not funny am I? Right, I'm going to get a clean brush and blend the shit out of this. This one, this is um, Zoe Verlux crease brush, it's quite thick for a crease brush. And I'm just going to blend it. 
better. Right, okay, that's better now blended. I'm gonna go back in with the brightest pink colour just to kind of make it a bit more stand out because it's not bright enough for me. Uh, so, either the deep crease brush and I go down on the shade gossip and I'm just doing it on the right end and again in the crease and bring it a bit lower this time, I think. I've done a makeup look similar to this in a blog post, but I'm gonna do a different eyeliner so. I will link that blog post below anyway if you want to check it out. And I'm just going to blend that out again. Mm. This time I've got a clean brush just so we don't scrub this stuff. I'm not really even sure what brush it is. I think it's a Zoeva one. Another Urban Decay palette. Urban Decay do all the best palettes. This is the Gwen Stefani one. I don't know if this was discontinued. I feel like it wasn't a for everything. I feel like it was a limited edition. Um, but anyway, going in with the shade. Well, actually, I'll actually get this shade here, that shade there, and um, with just a little, I think this is a MAC brush, but yeah, a little MAC brush, just gonna put it in my inner corner. Yes, oh, I said I was gonna talk about pretty little lives, and I never spoke about it because I got distracted by the makeup. So, I was, I kind of liked the final episode, like some bits were a bit weird, like the start when Jenna was on a horse and Lucas was dancing, that was weird. And also there was no point in that scene. Like there was literally no point. It didn't serve any purpose to the um rest of the episode apart from when they said that they hadn't found out who A was. But I liked the whole Spencer's twin thing. I liked that she was British. Yes, I think that accent could have been improved. However, I think she did such a good job of pretending to be Alex pretending to be Spencer, like, that must be really hard to act, somebody pretending to be another person. So, um, yeah, I thought, I thought she did an amazing job with that, because, like, for people to have got, like, that she was acting a bit weird, and she wasn't acting completely like Spencer, but not to be 100% sure, I think that's, she done a really good job of it. And I also did like that Alex was British. I thought that was a cool twist. I also really enjoyed when she, she like pretended to be a mirror and then said boo. Just that was funny, wasn't it? When everyone was saying they thought Spencer was gonna have a twin, I was like, oh, fucking hate this theory. I hope it doesn't happen. But then I think they did it well. I liked how they did it, so I think it was okay. So I actually liked it. And I'm glad it wasn't one of the liars or a character who were kind of attached to because that would have been quite sad. Like imagine if it was like Hannah betraying them all. We all would have been gutted. So yeah, I liked it. I thought they did a good job with it. I uh, got this eyeliner, Mac Jacobs highlighter in blacker. I'm gonna do like a messy line over the top of my eyelid. And I am keeping this quite messy. I'm also going to smudge this line so I probably won't get that neat to begin with. I'm literally just getting as close to the lash line as possible and wiggling the um, pencil around. I accidentally brought my eyeliner up much higher on one eye than the other, but you know, we'll roll with it. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so I really don't. Like, this makeup probably isn't going to be the best. Just doing it for fun and fancy to chat and thought I wanted to talk, so I thought talk to the camera. I may as well tell you who I thought A was gonna, AD was going to be. I thought it was going to be Jason and Aria working together. Or Hannah working with Mona. I didn't think it was just one person. I thought it was two people working together. Which I guess it kind of was because Ren, well it was three people. Ren and Mary Drake were in on it. Although, is Mary Drake good or bad? I still don't get that. Why did Alex like Aria so much? Like she was all like, you're gonna be my favourite. Why, why was she saying, was it because Aria helped her? And like Aria kind of went to the 18 for a bit. I'm gonna blend the line I just did with this little Real Techniques brush. Yeah, so I didn't really get that. I thought it was good though. And you know the bit where at the end with Moon, I thought that was really clever. I really enjoyed that part. But what would have been really great is if the guy, obviously not the guy that pretended to arrest them, but the guy that was then her boyfriend was Mike. Because remember when she was with Mike before, I was into that relationship. But yeah, I guess I couldn't get the character back. So that would have been cool. Also, I wanted a bit of Marco in it. What's his name? Fury? 
I like him and Spencer together. I'm sorry, but I kind of gutted that Spencer ended up with Taylor because I thought there was a lot of like a lot of tension between her and Marco. I think I think that should have worked out. Also, like Jason and Arya together. And why was everybody just like? Why did everybody just forget that Ezra used to be Arya's teacher and like we're okay with him getting married? If I was trying to marry my teacher now, I wouldn't be like he was your teacher. And another thing about teachers, when Emily no Alison grabs grabbed Addison, well that wouldn't be allowed, would it? And then Jenna called her a bitch as well. And aren't they both supposed to be your teachers? Like, chill out, man. I'm mean, gonna go back in with the eyeshadow and then go back in with the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna freshen them both up. But I just didn't want neat eyeliner, so I did a little smudgy smudgy. I don't really know what eyelashes they are. Oh, I guess I have worn them before though because they can be that bad otherwise I would have thrown them out. Right, I'm going to stick some glue on those. So under my eyes I'm going to use this eyeliner. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Lollipop. Oh, this is my favourite. It's pink again. This is the eyeliner which got me onto pinks. Right, I'm just going to put that um, underneath my eye. Is it Pretty much the same colour as the lollipop eye, uh, not lollipop, which the gossip eyeshadow. This is the eyeliner, and this really lasts as well. Mm. Using this to blend it is like half the over the cake brush. And do the same on the other side. There we go. And I'm gonna go back in the black liner and do my waterline. <laughs> oh, I got like makeup in my eye there. I'm in a quad mascara just on my bottom lashes. I have no idea what eyelashes they are. I don't. They had blue ones, I've obviously worn them before. I don't remember buying them. I normally buy like half eyelashes, these are quite big for me. And these ones look quite fake, I normally buy ones which don't look so fake. But you know, you could, we can roll with that. Quite pretty. I'm going to do my lips and then we're going to go in with some mascara and some eyeliner. My lips, I've got the Kylie lip liner in Candy K and the Velvet Teddy lipstick. Um, this is broken, it always comes out, which is really annoying, but oh well. I don't like to overline my lips too much because I feel like I've got, like my lips aren't big, but they're not small either. So. And I've also quite like the shape of my lips. I've been blessed with all right lips, I think. There you go. Some on my lips. Right, let's finish off these eyes. I'm gonna just go over that um, lash line so that it's not white and sort of my eyelashes a bit. I haven't done a regular job putting these eyelashes on, but I can't be asked to do them again, so. Alright, right, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I wear this pink eye makeup loads and I love it and I always get loads of compliments on it too. And I think it's just a bit different, which is quite cool. So I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm sorry if this video was a bit all over the place and not a lot of me chatting the crap. <laughs> um, just, just what happened, <laughs> basically. Just what came out when I filmed. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I am going to probably film another video now. So um, I'll see you soon. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video, enjoyed me talking rubbish, and like this makeup look. And I will see you next week. Bye.